I'm Courtney Mearswitty. I'm Air Services FIMS Initiative Lead. The FIMS is a flight information management system. So what it's going to act as is the connector between drones and integrating them safely into Australia's current air traffic management system. Coming to Australia, we realize the vastness and expanseness of, of the country. And with that comes challenges of distance and a dispersed population. And so Air Services and CASA have addressed that in their strategic plans that uncrewed vehicles can be the vehicles that help make that easier. It enables a common framework for all drone operations to happen within a country and in particular to allow for unified traffic management rather than segregation. FIMS will play a very key role in acting as that link between the end users who are flying the drones and the current ATM system to make sure that they have access to the airspace and they're all treated fairly. To achieve our aspirations in the integrated airspace program, we're partnering with world leading aviation companies helping to solve some of the complex problems around digitisation and automation to deliver for our UAS customers. As part of the prototyping activity, we've really been able to challenge the current state of where UTM capabilities are, being able to do the in-field testing. So coming to Bunyan Airfield at the Canberra Gliding Club has allowed us to get some real hands-on experience in how the FIMS will work in the ecosystem. It's been amazing to see different environments uh, from the testing we were doing in both Sydney and Canberra to looking at it in a rural environment. They're very, very different requirements for the ability of drones to operate, connectivity, scalability, but the open space here and the location is absolutely stunning. In the beginning, we struggled a little with the weather. It was uh, very wet the first days and uh, we've had very strong wind gusts, so flying was impossible. I did get attacked by a wombat, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you survived. I'm, I'm okay, I'm all right, yeah. One of the things that we're, we're really focused on is this concept of uncrewed aeronautical information management. So taking traditional aeronautical information management systems and bringing it down to those lower levels. Uh, so we're talking about you know, geospatial base layers such as terrain data and building data. Doesn't matter if you're, if you're flying a 747, uh, but definitely matters when you're, you're down below 400 feet. Every country has quite a variation in their requirements and the way they want to interpret rules. The frameworks within which they operate can vary quite significantly. The beauty of being here and being able to operate in this environment allows us to meld those different interpretations sometimes and rule sets to figure out what the right approach would be for the long term for a country. The industry is growing at an exponential rate and the technology is very fast paced. One of the challenges is going to be legislation and regulation moving at the same pace. Our services now get the chance to shape the product and the solution they get at the end of this activity and to make sure it meets the Australian standards and requirements for the industry. The biggest challenge as we bring these new air vehicles to the market is ensuring the regulators and the general public that we can do this safely, right? So this is the last thing they want to do is have you know, new vehicles that are out there and, and have some safety or risk concerns. I think we also need to quickly demonstrate the social value and social utility so that they'll be more accepting of, of the capabilities. We really want to be able to support the fast growth of this industry and we want to ensure that we're doing that while maintaining the high safety standards we see in aviation. With the number of drones we're seeing in our skies today and the projections of urban air mobility just around the corner, we're looking to deliver on integrated airspace, moving from segregated operations to truly integrated operations.